Gum Bowl Gum. Eat Gum Bowl Gum. <laughs> Alright. Before we explore more of the ship, I still want to explore more of the Outer Harbor. <laughs> that trick. Oh, and if you think I'm using that, uh, fall <laughs> splat height prevention, uh, glitch or trick a lot now, wait till you see the next world, which is a very vertical world. We got some blue boxes here, and let's explore inside every one of them. Alright, we've got a lot of notes, a lot of worms, and a beehive. Relax, bro. I only use the beehives if I desperately need them. Not to mention, these worms are slugs, eels, I don't really know what they are, but they give us a lot of health as well. How's your day going, man? This one does not- oh! Oh, those are just eggs. I thought that was a mumbo token. How many mumbo tokens do I have? I have 19. I'm, I only need six more. Once we get six more mumbo tokens, we don't need any more. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. This looks like a job for Wonder Wing. Oh, thank you. Uh -huh. I will say, while this level's really dangerous and not that fun, they do put a lot of extra lives on this level, which is, I mean, thank goodness for small favors, am I right? Yeah, but imagine getting, like, all of the notes on the outer part of the harbor, and then dying in the inner orbits, and having to go back to the harbor again. So this middle crate has its entrance open on top. <laughs> and it's no wonder the doors are closed, this is literally filled with packing crates. A hi! A hi! I like that sound that they make. A hi! This game has great. This game has great music and great sound effects. Hey, Bujiga! I just realized all of the Jinjos on this level are in the outer part of the harbor. None of them are actually on the rusty bucket. What's a platform and what's solid? Eat gum, bowl, gum. Are there any notes in here? Okay, there, oh, there's gold fit. Oh, yes, please. I knew I saw something gold. I, have, I wanted to make sure it wasn't a note. Because if, if I miss a note on this level, I'm gonna. <laughs> It'll probably be in the inner workings. I hope it's not. Alright. Well, that, that took longer than I needed, than I needed to. Anyhow, let's continue. And now we have reached a dead end. We can't go any farther. And there are no crates around here. Oh, there's one. Oh yeah, now we're at the back of the rusty bucket where we got the genie earlier. Oh, I know it's something that we can do. Something that we missed. Going back this way. If we stick close to the rusty bucket, hopefully the draw distance will be good enough that it'll show us. It's another slightly dangerous part of the level, just because it's easy to get stuck. Also keep a look out for ladders, because these will also allow you to move through there. Yeah, I think it's around this corner. Back here. Uh, the 
Yeah, it would make sense for it to be at the front of the ship. Yeah. First off, let's see if we can find a crater nearby. No crater nearby, but there is a ladder. Yeah, we can see. Oh no, there's a poor little guy stuck under an anchor. I'm trapped! Help! Get this fade off, Snorkel! Yeah, swimming up here can be such a pain in the butt. As you can see, like, I'm trying to swim up the- oh no. Yeah. This is why this part of the level is terrible. Like, I swam up in that hole multiple times, but it was like, nope. That is a glitchy part of the level. And there are no crates nearby, which also sucks. Yeah, like, I, I, it kept launching me back down. Come on! There we go! Good grief! That is a really bad part of it. That's, that's just flat out glitchy right there. That's what that is. I'm definitely red Goodbye. Let's press this anchor switch. Help poor Snorkel the dolphin, although he's still swimming in oily water. Thanks, guys! I found this earlier! It's yours! Alright, well, I almost died trying to do that, so you're welcome, Snorkel. What can I say but you're welcome? Now, thankfully, if memory serves, getting out of here is a whole lot easier than getting in. Yeah, the anchor's just flat out gone. Give me that jiggy. Let's get back on the ship now. Thanks, camera. You're a gem. Alright. As I was saying, let's get back on the roasty bucket. There's a whole lot more to explore. For example, we can start by going down this pipe. seems to be like a maintenance slash storage room. There's a lot of storage rooms on this. Cargo boat. That makes sense. This music is a lot better than the main music. I've been working on the railroad. Yes, I've been doing it all the live all day. Look out for the TNT. Getting out of here can be a little tricky. Way to go, Banjo. You can use these crates to hop up on the pipes and get, make your way out. On this side, however... Hi! Hi, bro. How you doing? Now, there's a TNT crate here attached to a rope. Climb this. Now you see the witch switch. This can actually be a very tricky witch switch to reach. It requires a very precise double jump. Oh, yeah, I barely made it. You gotta time it really well. And that makes a jiggy appear in that crystal cave. Ouch! That's okay, I got my. Ow! I'm, a f I'm fine! <laughs> I'm okay. Uh, we already went in that pipe. We did that at the very beginning. 
Oh, brother! <laughs> I am just on fire today, aren't I? Alright, well... No! Don't fall off! Alright, we're taking the crane shortcut back to the rescue bucket. Instead of having to go all the way around the harbor. some whistles here, but until we know the password, we are gonna step on those. Hey, bro! Ow! That, that was a jerk move. You're a real move. Let's go into the real fight. Welcome to the kitchen! It's my favorite part. Is a mumbo token in an oven? <laughs> Stupid bear, you'll have to learn that red hot ovens tend to burn! <laughs> I knew it, I just wanted to red the mumbo token. Ouch. This is a nice kitchen considering it's a ship. Oh, this fridge is open. Well, they've got eggs in the fridge, that's appropriate, and they've also got a worm, that's not so appropriate. I am actually getting low on HP, that is slightly worrying to me. Okay, I'll also show off another very well-hidden secret here. Um, so you've seen these windows around here, right? These two windows look basically exactly the same, but this one has a slightly more shine to it, as well as like a tiny little hinge here. You can break open that window, but you can't break open those windows. Yeah, fun. Just ignore that fanfare. there. That. HP. And we get another Jiggy. The captain was porting a Jiggy in his private quarters. Oh, hi, Captain! Anytime you hear that fanfare like the dun 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 you probably won't hear it on your playthrough because that's for the extra bonus stuff. Anyhow, keep an eye out for any windows that look shinier than the others and have a small hinge on them. For example, if memory serves, I believe there's one on this side as well. Sure enough. Oh, hey, it's the navigation room. I just want what's mine. My 100 notes. Okay, good. My health is topped off. Oh, and we just- okay, we are good on the Bubble Boops. In fact, I could literally go back to Bubble Boop Swamp and get the one I missed on that course. I have been working on the railroad and killing pirates all the livelong day, every day. Alright, where to next? Ooh, let's climb up. Let's climb up the rescue bucket because it's a very vertical ship. Let's try to get all the notes. That way, even if I die, then I'll be good. That's where the whistles are. There's a whole lot of climbing we can do. Ooh. 
knew there was a jump rope. It's around here somewhere. Cool! We don't need any more Ecom Boku tokens. And at the top of here is another Jiggy. Which side has the whistles? This side does not have the whistles. No, this side does have the whistles. Alright, we're going to the other side then. Yes, this is the side I want to go on. I like how some of the boxes have rare words in the them. It's funny. Alright. Well, instead of jumping off the cliff like I did near the witch switch, we're going to actually walk towards the crane over here, because this is not a part of the harbor we haven't been to yet. Push in this button. Drops the TNT on there, and blows it to smithereens. Only four more, more notes. Sweet. Six eggs. That makes a <laughs> rather rickety bridge across. And that has at least connected the two parts of the harbor. And now this one needs eight eggs. Alright, cool. We can now export the end of the harbor. I hope you're good at taking out these guys. And there's the final video. Alright, only two Jiggies left, and I'm... Okay, so one of them is for doing the whistles. And then the other one is inside the place we just blew up. Back to the rusty bucket. <sighs> Trying to figure out where those last four notes are. I, they might be in the place we just blew up, or it might just be on this part of the ship which we barely touched. <laughs> no? Why did the camera just all of a sudden completely change direction to try to make me fall off? I don't like that. Alright, well, let's go in here. Nope! The notes are not in here. And there's the Jiggy. And this is a mini boss. Who dares enter boss boom boxes old? I've hidden my jigsaw. You'll never get it. So we gotta use eggs to destroy this guy. And he takes a lot of eggs to destroy. Another thing we can do though is just use invulnerability. And now that we got 20 feathers, he just keeps dividing up into smaller and smaller blue boxes until he reaches the point where it's just a Goodbye. Uh, you've splintered me. Take this. I didn't want it, really. I don't like how we're just missing four notes, though. I really don't like that. <laughs> Clear, I'm, I'm almost positive they're all together somewhere, but it worries me they might be in the inner workings. That is going to be the last place that I check, though. Believe you me. So I've already been on that side. Oh, wait a second. Is that another window we can destroy? I believe it is. Oh, cool. I think that actually might be in here, then. Yes, indeed. Oh, this is where all the pirates sleep, or the sailors. 
Cool. We got all the notes. That's all I really wanted. You found all 100 notes? Of yeah, yeah, Bottles, I know. But that's really hard to do. I wanted to congratulate you. I, I appreciate it, Bottles, but I don't need you to. Oh, okay. Okay, because the number that you need to, because they're all the whistles, like the foghorns that we have to punch in, there's a code inscribed somewhere on this level. Well, we gotta find it, and I don't remember exactly where it is. I think it's on the side of the ship somewhere. Pretty sure it's inscribed on the side of the ships. Because every time you get a note wrong, you take damage. It's written somewhere. Oh, hey, it's a moment. Um, he's gone. Oh, he's gone. Here we go. There it is. Three, one, two, one, one, one. 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 Alright, here we go. Final G. Nice lag. We got 100% on a musky bucket. Day. That is no easy feat. And actually, we will not need three videos for this. We will only need two. Hooray! Now, just because I can, I'm going to try to get those two mumbo tokens in here. Please. Wish me luck. And if I perish, I perish. Queen Esther, sometime in the BCs. part is these pipes can stop spinning on like a diagonal, which makes it almost impossible to walk across them. Oh, and another thing is when you're jumping through those jump massive fan blades, um, don't touch them, even when they're moving slowly, because if you touch them when they're moving slowly, uh, you still take damage and it will certainly not go off the cliff. I will try to demonstrate, because I believe I've gotten everything on this level. Yep. That room is unfair! 
Wow, your best known score for this world is now 100. I think I got all the mumbo tokens on that level too, which I think is a first for me. Granted, I can't say for sure. But that's Rusty Bucket Bay, the most annoying world in the game by a mile. Next world is a lot of fun, even though it's really difficult. Although, the <laughs> last time I played this game, the next world made me rage a lot for something that was kind of beyond my control. But I guarantee the same thing will not happen this time. I literally can guarantee it. All right, now we're gonna grab this jiggy. When Tootie is a big old lump, I've just frock to hide her rump. Just the frock. Grunty was uh, having a little bit of a stroke there. Anyhow, we did a whole lot today. Holy cow. We beat Rusty Bucket Bay 100%. We got the last two Cheeto codes. And we only have one Jiggy left even in the overworld. So that's going to do it for this episode of Banjo Kazooie. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Tune in next time. We're off to the final world. And it's going to be a long, long world because it's by far the largest world. But it's still going to be a lot of fun. Look forward to that. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.